Hello, uh, this is tip one, uh, number 10. Okay, someone asked me, okay, to explain in detail, okay? All right. So we have a circle in the XY plane and uh, one more linear line there. Over here. The radius of circle is five. So there will be some center of here, okay? This is the radius. This is the radius, right? This circle tangent x axis and y axis. They are perpendicular, right? Maybe you can use it. This point is coordinate maybe 5 and 5 because our radius is 5, right? This is 5, this is 5. Maybe you can use algebraic method to find the value of t. This one. This is also 5. This is distance between two points. So what is distance between two points? Square root x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1. y2 is t, y1 is 5 squared. That is equals to 5. That is distance formula, right? Okay, squares. 8 minus 5 is 3 squared is 9 plus t minus 5 squared equals 25. Minus 9 both sides, that's going to be 16. So t minus 5 squared is 16, t minus 5 is 1. Plus 4 or minus 4, we have a 2 value of t minus 5, right? So what is the value of t plus 5 both sides? Okay, I'm right. This is okay. So t equals 9 or 1. t is up there, right? Above this number 5, it can be 1 over there. So the answer is 9. Okay? Choice C is the answer. Or you can use graphical method. I'm going to use this one. Graphical method is the same thing, right? Using Pythagorean theorem. This is 8. Up to here, that is 5. This side is a 3, right? Yeah, this is a 3. This is a 5. This is 3. This is the right angles. Using Pythagorean theorem, this one will be 3 to the 4 to the 5. That is the right triangle triplet. So you can get this distance is 4, right? Up to here, that is 5. Another plus 4 equals to 9. So t equals from here to here, all the way up here, right? So t equals 5 plus 4 equals to 9. Okay, you can solve this way too, right? You have two different methods, algebraic and graphic. Okay, thank you. So I'll see you next time, okay?